welcome back to the shop and today we are talking about valves and what the hell does 20 valve mean? 20 valve, 18, 16, 8 valve, what do all these numbers mean? Um, generally it's associated with cars, so cars like to stick it on the back of their, uh, on the back of the car it's semi market wank, but it's also because there are actually different models that have different valves. Why? Yeah, cars. So let's take a wank car, it's like a, uh, a Citroen Saxo. That that came in a um, eight valve and a sixteen valve um, variety. So as you can see, it's the same car, even for the same uh, engine size. So a one point, just say a one point four. Um, there was an 18 and a 16 valve variant. So what does this mean? In engines, uh, there are valves. Uh, basically, they're called poppet valves, and they look like trumpets. I'm trying to. See, I had one kicking about a minute ago. Um, so basically, as a cross section, it looks like this. A bit out of proportion. It's a bit usually a bit longer, um, but they look like trumpets. I'm sure I had one kicking around. Ah, one of the oldest ones you'll probably ever see. So this is from a, a, a Model T Ford. This is a valve. Um, as you can see, it's like a trumpet. It's got some features on this. This is a bit different. But basically, this is what they all look and have done for over 100 years. Um, and these valves have to go in each cylinder. So if you have a four-cylinder engine, then you divide these numbers up by four. So for a four-cylinder uh, eight-valve Obviously, that's two valves per cylinder. Cylinder. And then a 16 would obviously be four valves. Why is this important? Um, it's all to do with how engines breathe. And generally speaking, the more valves they have, the better. Uh, we've kind of settled with four valves per cylinder nowadays because it's about cost and complexity versus the performance gains that you actually get from having more valves um, so it's like the middle ground of we don't want to spend as much but we want to make it as good as we can and then four valves become the thing so um, that's basically all this is if you have a 20 valve usually that's because it's got more than four cylinders you know if you have a four valve that four valve could be a one cylinder or it could be a two cylinder twin um, with a valve in each cylinder, uh, two valves in each cylinder. So basically, you have to, for this to make sense, you have to know how many cylinders that engine has. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit. 